Okay, so we need to graph the equation 3x minus 4y equals to negative 8. The first approach to graphing equations is to come up with values of x and figure out what y should be that belongs to that x. Let's see what happens if x is 0. If x is 0, then this statement to be true, we can find the y that make, does that if we just substitute 0 into this equation. So we write 3 times 0 minus 4y equals negative 8 is the same as minus 4y equals negative 8 and now we're just going to divide by negative 4 so y equals 2. So what we found is the point 0 2 right okay if x is 1 then we have 3 times 1 minus 4y equals negative 8 so minus 4y plus 3 equals to negative 8. We solve for y, so we're going to subtract 3. Minus 4y equals negative 11. And now we're going to divide by negative 4. So y equals negative 11 over negative 4 is the same as 11 over 4. And that's almost 3. That's 2 and 3 over 4. So we found the point 1, 2 and 3 fourths. If we want to graph a line with good precision, we should not use points like this. It is much more preferable to use points where both x and y are integers. Such a point is called a lattice point. If it's possible, we should work with lattice points. This, this point is not quite useless. We can use it to check. This point is x equals 1, y equals almost 3, so somewhere here. We're going to see if the nicer lattice points will confirm the location of this point. So, what went wrong? In both cases, when x was 0 and 1, we, we divided by negative 4. So, whether we get an integer for y or not hinges on divisibility by 4. And what that means is that once we find a well-behaved number like 0, the next number that will behave well is when we add or subtract multiples of 4. So x equals 2 will not work, x equals 3 will not work, but x equals 4 will work, and x equals 8 would work, and negative 4. So let us substitute x equals 4 next. So if x equals 4, then the equation 3x minus 4y equals negative 8 will become 3 times 4 minus 4y equals negative 8, which is the same as minus 4y plus 12 equals negative 8. We subtract 12 from both sides. Then we get negative 4y equals negative 20. And now we divide by negative 4. Negative 20 divided by negative 4 is plus 5. So y equals 5. So we found the point 4, 5. So let's graph that. If x is 4, then y is 5. See, now, now it shows that the, the point that wasn't so nice fits. It looks like our line is going to look somewhat like this. 5 will not behave nicely. The next number uh, around here that will behave nicely is 8. But that's, that's going to be off the picture. By 8, this line is going to be here. So it's best if we switch to negative 4. So let's see what happens then. If x is negative 4, then 3x minus 4y equals negative 8 will become 3 times negative 4 minus 4y equals negative 8, which is the same as minus 4y minus 12 equals negative 8. And we're going to solve for y. We're going to add 12. Minus 4y equals minus 8 plus 12 is plus 4. And now we're going to divide both sides by negative 4. So y is negative 1. So what we have found is the point negative 4, negative 1. Negative 4, negative 1. So the next useful point would be at x equals negative 8. That's already off the picture. So we got all the lattice points we could. We have found four points, that should be enough, so we're just going to put a ruler through these points and connect the dots. Okay, so before we go, 
this point is quite important. In case of equations, when we graph them, we are often interested in, a, in the point in which the graph intersects the y-axis. Such a point is called the y-intercept. So the y-intercept in this case is 0, 2. And similarly, this is called the x-intercept. Now, the x-intercept is not a lattice point, right? It looks like the y-coordinate is 0, but the x-coordinate is somewhere between negative 2 and negative 3. If we want to find it exactly, we would need to look for the x that will make y 0. So what that would look like is we're going to take the equation 3x minus 4y equals negative 8, and now we would put y equals 0. So it's 3x minus... 4 times 0 equals negative 8. That's the same as 3x equals negative 8. And when we divide by 3, then x is negative 8 over 3. That's almost negative 3, right? That's negative 2 and 2 thirds. So what we found is the point negative 2 and 2 thirds, 0. And that, that agrees with what we see on the graph. So it's, it is probably correct. Thank you for watching.